Everyone, I'm Colleen Williams. They've been on strike for close to five months now, but at this point, there are reports we could be getting close to a resolution between the writers and the studios. Today, another meeting was held. NBC4's Robert Kovacic joins us live in Sherman Oaks. And Robert, are the two sides, do we know, any closer to a deal here? Last time we checked, Colleen, the good news is that the two sides are still meeting at this hour. That was about a half hour ago when we learned that they were still in the room together. Things have changed in this town. You may have felt it today if you are in the entertainment industry. A lot of talk, a lot of speculation that a deal was close to ending the WGA strike. Is this optimism and is this exuberance premature? Well, possibly. There is no deal yet, and it is unlikely a deal will be announced tonight, even though they are still meeting. There are still some points to be worked out. There are still some sticky matters that they have to solve. Here is Michael Schneider, who is the TV editor of Variety. You know, probably the, the, the biggest separation between the producers and the writers right now is the issue of minimum staffing on television shows. Uh, you know, how many people should be required to be writers on certain shows? And the debate has been some shows require more writers than others. Some shows actually have a single writer. Uh, so the question is, uh, you know, what is the compromise there or what will be the uh, sort of the, the, the new sort of understanding going forward in this contract? And so the negotiators for the Writers Guild and the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers meeting again for the second day in a row. This was after a the last time they had met was in late August. So two days of talks. That gives people reason to believe progress is being made, Colleen. But as you mentioned, the strike has gone on so long. We're at 143 days. We hit 153 days. Then it becomes the longest writer's walkout 